You may be one of those people who just hates the sound of your own voice. You hear a recording, you think it can't be you, but it is. You're not crazy. A recording of your voice does sound different from what you typically hear. But why? Here's our why guy. Don't freak out, but there are two versions of you. That's right, and don't you think it's about time that someone introduced you to you? Allow me. It will help explain why you sound different when you hear a recording of your own voice. We went to the Art Institute of Atlanta where even audio engineers think they sound different. Thunderstorms uh, are predicted. I hope everybody has a great afternoon. Quite a bit of difference, actually, I think. When you speak, you hear two versions of you. There's the voice that leaves your vocal cords bound for any and all eardrums in the immediate vicinity. You hear that version of your voice along with everyone else. But you're also hearing a different version of your voice when your vocal cords create vibrations inside your head. The two versions combine for a sound only you hear. The vibrations are giving you kind of more of a more full, warm, a very white voice. Today's a great day. We're here at the Art Institute of Atlanta. My voice, to me, sounds higher. When you hear a recording of your voice, it's only one version of you. It lacks the version created by those vocal cord vibrations. Uh, the Audio Engineering Society is a group of audio professionals. I definitely hear a difference in the timbre. The quality of the microphone and speakers will alter your voice some. If you think you sound too country or hear an exaggerated accent, you're being too sensitive. Once you get to know the other version of you, it all makes sense. Hey, you. That was very interesting. If you have a question for Jerry Carnes, our why guy, send it over on Facebook, Twitter, or email Christy, part two.